Okay, Hero 3 Black. Best to use a steak knife while you're removing the front cover and hold down the LED when you're prying off the cover. Otherwise, you can pull the cable off of the LED if it decides to stick to the front cover. Now with the steak knife you want to slide it underneath the bezel and it pops right off. Couple of O-rings on there. Now you have access to the other four screws in the corners that need to come out. Now the Hero 3 black, silver, and white all take apart the same. The lenses are different on all three models. The Hero 3 silver has kind of an issue where some of the lenses don't thread all the way. Uh, the blacks work great every time and so do the whites. They're very consistent. Now if you don't feel comfortable doing this to your camera, we can take it apart for you and we fully ensure our work. If anything happens to the camera in the event of us taking it apart, we'll get you a brand new camera. There's a few different modifications we do for night vision or for some zoomed in lenses. Right now we're using an 8mm lens to film this video. Okay, so we use the knife and we're going to pry up the board. It's a little difficult, but not impossible. Once again, if you don't feel comfortable doing it, we'd be happy to do it for you. Once you change the lens in the camera and break the glue seal, then you will be able to change lenses on the fly anytime you want. It's always best to use a monitor when you're focusing the lens in. There's a little ribbon cable right here that needs to get pulled out. install your new lens you always want to focus out to an object that's 150 feet out in the distance okay there's the back of the lens disconnect one more little board piece prying it apart Okay, slides right out. Heat up the lens a little bit to uh, the glue nice and softened. Take another pair of pliers, a little bit of heat shrink around them. Go forward a little bit to break the seal and then simply come back now that the lens is out of the camera 
we want to put the whole camera back together. You don't have to put a lens in yet. Now that the lens has been removed, now we can put the camera right back together like we started. So after you get the GoPro back together, we're easily just going to be able to thread in the new lens. Either the lens you got from Rage Cams, or maybe you bought a broken camera and they're replacing your scratch lens. Pretty common thing with all these GoPro cameras since everybody is in such action type sports with them. They get all beat up. Now, the sensor inside of the, the actual camera might get some debris on it. And if that's the case, then what you want to do is you want to air dust out the sensor, and most of the debris should come right out. Now, if it doesn't come out, then what you're going to have to do is you have to use some Windex on a Q tip to simply wipe the debris away. It will not harm the sensor. We've done this many times and it works very well. Okay, now front face plate goes back on. Kind of just snaps on. Now if you're using a Rage Cams lens, that has a focus ring on it then you do not have to put back the bezel ring around the lens uh, front because what happens is then if you do that you're not going to be able to use the focus ring which if you're changing lenses a lot that's what's needed so now if we look down into the camera get a nice focus shot here Yeah, you can see there's some leftover Teflon tape. You can take that out of there and just make sure your sensor's nice and clear before you put in the new lens. So basically you're just going to thread in your new lens and you're going to use a HD monitor to focus the lens. Let me see. Okay, if you have one of our lenses, then you can simply just drop it in, start to go counterclockwise a little bit with it until you feel it seat in the threads and then go clockwise. And it'll finally start to focus when it starts getting tight. So you want to use the HDMI output on the side and hook that into a TV and focus it on an object 150 feet away. RageCams.com